Hey Taurus, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am doing your February 2022 general reading to see what is going on for you in the month of February. All right. So this can be things to look forward to, um, things that, um, are, are coming through. I'm going to point out those energies, whether they're love, general finance. Um, we're just going to see what's going on for you in the month of February. So, yeah. So this will be for those of you who are Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. And those of you who are cross watchers connected to a Taurus, this can resonate for you as well. Yes. Readings can resonate in the reverse. All right. Taurus miracles. All right. Nice energy showing up for you. Um, so far breaking free. All right. Miracles. What do we have? We have feelings. Okay. So this feels like you guys are in a situation where you can now, um, break free. That message has been coming through a lot for the collective. So I do feel like you're rewarded when you break free from someone or something that, um, doesn't serve you. And so I feel like with miracles, this almost feels like a reward or rewards coming into your life in the month of February. Um, some of you, this is literal, right? So Valentine's Day, you could get some really nice things from the person that you're dealing with or from someone who wants to deal with you on a deeper level. So let's see what's coming through for miracles for Taurus. Um, three of Swords, all right? And we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you guys may be dealing with somewhat of a heartbreaker, okay? So the miracle is the fact that this person, um, some of you are dealing with someone who has left you, all right? That's what I pick up with this Knight of Wands, right? This person has broken your heart. The true miracle is what emerges as this person leaves, you know, your strength, your own sense of self-worth comes through. You're starting to build for yourself, right? Getting rid of uh, codependent, um, habits or, or codependent tendencies. So I feel like there was somebody here who you were, you were relying on to love you correctly. It doesn't feel like this person ever got to that point or it just took a long time or it had been a long time since they were able to love you correctly. So some of you, I am picking up that this person is the one that left. For others of you, you were possibly the one that left the home or left the person. But the three of swords tells me that um, you, you, you felt at your lowest. Okay. Um, very recently, and you felt like you were being, um, possibly punished. You felt like there was an energy here that you were taken advantage of by someone you loved and maybe some negative self-talk came in like, well, you deserved it. You shouldn't have trusted this knight of wands. You shouldn't have given them your heart, something like that. But let's see why we have this three of swords with miracles here. Why do we have this? It is the seven of pentacles. Okay. So some of you um, have been healing. You've been going through a process where you're trying not to make the mistake again, or you're trying not to, you're just trying to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes. You don't want to repeat a cycle that you've already learned the toughest lessons from, right? Some of you will be dealing with a Sag. Some of you will have a, another fire sign, a Leo or Aries lovers, okay? I feel like you guys, because you're earth energy, right? So you are so invested in relationships. You like to be grounded. You like to be comfortable. It's not that you can't be alone. Um, earth energies tend to like to be alone, but they also like the stability of a, a partner who respects their space and, and who also respects your romantic nature. So I do feel like, um, you know, it may have taken you some time, but a lot of you are about to meet someone. A lot of you are about to in this moment of heartbreak and it feels like everything is going bad and nothing is going to work out, you could be meeting someone very soon, okay? With this seven of pentacles energy, you like to invest in people. You like to um, you, you like to have relationships here. And so I feel like you're going to meet somebody who is of like mind, um, possibly a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be right. This person just feels like they are somebody who's going to get it when it comes to you. They're going to understand you and they're going to want to understand you deeper. This person also feels like they're not running away from the fact that you're hurting. Okay. Um, that you've been through a lot that you may have trust issues. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's going to want to um, help you through any sort of pain, 
any sort of disappointing energies that you could that could be showing up for you in February. So the Knight of Wands, why do we have this with miracles? Some of you, the new person will be the fire sign, the Knight of Wands or the air sign, <laughs> a Libra. But there's definite energy coming in from somebody who wants to be in your life. Okay, three of cups. Um... So you may have to make a choice, okay? You may have to make a choice between someone who has hurt you and who has um, who has been a very big disappointment in your life and somebody who um, has been waiting for their opportunity to prove to you that they can treat you better. The lovers is a choice and we do have two nights showing up here. So one of these energies is more trustworthy and more stable there because this three of cups is here. Yes, it does feel like celebration. It feels like you're doing something cute for Valentine's day, but the bigger energy coming through is that you are in a situation with where I'm sorry, where you have two people that may possibly be trying to woo you. And um, one of those people feels like they're not, it feels like they're from the past and that they're not the best for you. Um, so yeah, the nine of swords is you're going to have some trouble making this decision. The queen of swords is clarity. The queen, the queen of swords makes good decisions. The queen of swords makes head over heart decisions, right? Logically, what works best for me? Cause I can't, you know, allow my heart to blind me when it comes to making such a serious decision about who I want to build with and invest in, right? I'm not about wasting years of my life dealing with somebody who was never meant for me. So those are the things that it feels like you may worry about in the Nine of Swords energy for the month of February. But again, all of these messages show up with miracles. So it's actually a miracle that somebody, you know, I know it sounds weird that somebody left you or somebody hurt you because what emerges is an energy of someone else can come in or another person can come in and prove to you that they are actually the one for you and that other person was not. Okay, so you break free, you break up, um, you cut someone off with this breaking free energy in February. Let's see why we have this. <clears throat> someone is here wanting to get deeper, closer to you. Okay. Six of Swords. All right. Breaking free. That is a breaking free energy. That Six of Swords and the Five of Wands. I mean, so I do feel like somebody is offering you peace and somebody is offering you more of the same, more drama, more tension, um, more, you know, um, sort of untrustworthy energy. And you have to break out of this sort of there. There's a real choice here. It's technically not. There's, there's somebody here who doesn't deserve you and somebody who may possibly deserve you that you may not be giving a chance to. So this six of swords look like, looks like it's sailing right back into some drama, right? If that's, um, for those of you who decide to, um, return or deal with somebody who has already shown you who they are, right? The queen of swords showing up at the bottom of the deck is like, okay. This is a decision I may have made two years ago, five years ago. I can't make these types of decisions now. I have to make a wise decision with who I want to share my life with and who I want to go through um, these circumstances with in my life. All right. So what is this Six of Swords for our Taurus? The month of February with Breaking Free. It's the Six of Cups. You guys are leaning towards choosing the person you're you're familiar with. The person you have a past with. And this person, again, more of the same, um, more of that energy. Look, six of swords, double energy, more sort of them being inconsistent, maybe bringing third parties into your life. For somebody, I feel the urge to say all, that's all they can offer. Three of Cups is a good time. That's all they can offer. Good memories. But this person is not stable. They're not grounded. They just are here for a good time. So yes, there is someone here for a good time. It feels like you guys are actually leaning more towards that person. Um, yeah, because this person is very charming. Okay, I'm picking up that they're very charming and they're able to like play a song for you. They're able to write poetry or something. They're a knight of wands, right? So they have that very charming energy. And it feels like this knight of swords is trying to come in <laughs> and intercept this knight of wands from bringing more um, stress into your life. 
but it does feel like you're leaning towards that Knight of Wands. I want to get why this Five of Wands is here because that's creating tension between you and somebody who does actually care about you. Um, the tower, yeah, the <laughs> tension is an understatement, right? Um, there's a tower moment, right? Um, you have to be careful that the breaking free energy isn't somebody who's serious about you who ends up breaking free from you because this keeps coming up, the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a cycle for some Tauruses about to repeat, okay? There's a relationship somebody is about to return to and the same things are going to happen. And it and it continues like that until you learn the lesson, but it feels like somebody here is trying to save you from having to go through that. And maybe you're like, I don't need saving. I'm going to do what my heart tells me to do. And you absolutely have the free will to do that. Um, but in this decision, this lovers, it feels like this is a pivotal moment for February for you to make the right decision, or there could be some sort of backlash. All right. Scorpio energy showing up. Um, why is that here? It's just this, it's, it's just, it's that karmic energy that shows up. There's a karmic here. There's a Taurus dealing with a karmic, not all of you, right? It is a miracle, okay, that some of you have dealt with this person. They look at you, you as the miracle, right? I can't believe Taurus is giving me another chance, right? Um, I'm going to ruin it again. And that's what it feels like with the tower and the justice here that you're dealing with somebody who is, this is just who they are, right? It's not even to say that they're bad, but they're chaotic. This person is chaos. And this justice feels like if you continue to choose this, then the chaos will ensue, right? And definitely... So there's a caution here for some Tauruses to break free from this chaotic energy, possibly a Scorpio, possibly an air sign, but I'm really seeing everybody here, all of the signs. So there's a Taurus dealing with a Gemini um, that they need to break free from. There's a Taurus that needs to leave a Scorpio alone, a Sag alone, a Libra alone. All right. So there's a lot here about, you know, the universe wanting to reward you and send something major your way, something beautiful. But it feels like it's holding back from this reward until you start making those decisions that benefit you more than it benefits the other person. Ace of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Feelings. All right. Somebody is going to have their feelings hurt in the month. That's just what I pick up. And feelings is such a big, like you can take away anything from this, but I am telling you guys, the feeling that I'm getting from this feelings is that somebody's feelings are going to be betrayed. Someone is going to end up hurt. Um, the nine of wands here. Yeah, confirming that I want to get another one for feelings. Why do we have feelings here? <clears throat> um, the four of cups. Yeah, someone is going to get rejected. But, you know, I said someone's going to get their feelings hurt. Well, more specifically, that happens because you're dealing with somebody who's resistant to committing or somebody who is rejecting um, a exclusive partnership altogether. So it feels like the strongest energy coming through is for those Tauruses who are in sort of a limbo of not sh being sure whether to leave a certain person alone because you love them, because you have history with them. It feels like this person is going to continue to resist. Um, they have like their own stuff that they deal with. There are reasons why they don't want a relationship or why they're not good at relationships. But I also feel like this person has ego. Six of Wands here. That's that false ego, false sense of victory. Um, and this person, you know, it feels like you ha you need to stand up for yourself in the month of February against an energy that is operating off of ego and needing attention and just wanting you um, for their reasons. I saw the, uh, the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> I saw the Ten of Swords. It didn't come out, but let's see why the Six of Wands is here. Um, I feel like the, you have to end something with someone in order to receive a big blessing from someone else. King of Pentacles here. There's an energy here that is far too immature for you page of swords this person doesn't follow their own was they don't really have wisdom but they listen to other people they're gossipy they're not trustworthy this person is still growing and still learning um how to be in a mature relationship and while they may say the right things and they're very cute and charming to you i feel like this person is far from the king of pentacles that you need them to be because your energy is actually the king of pentacles right um, so it feels like this person gets a, um, they almost get satisfaction off of at times being able to, um, 
have the option of it, it does something to their ego to have someone so um, pro- probably attractive and successful to be able to turn them down, right? So this person feels like something. There's something about them rejecting you that may bring them satisfaction, pulling away from you just as things are getting closer, right? So the four of cups definitely feels like there was there's gonna be a missed opportunity in um February to do what you know is right. It feels like I said, the strongest energy is that you guys want to move forward. It wants here with the person who you have been dealing with, Queen of Pentacles, because that's how that grounded earth energy works, right? it's it's what you're used to right and and you feel like you can you can manage that um but there's somebody here that again they're very chaotic their communication feels like it is good right the communication feels like that's what keeps you you here the promises they make the things they say to you what they plan to offer you right but it feels like they say what they gotta say that false ego with the six of wands and that's what it feels like you have to protect yourself from but the nine of wands here protect yourself from what they're promising because these promises don't feel like they lead to much what is this eight of wands here it's death Somebody has to, I'm not saying this is all Tauruses, all right? This will not be. But there is this Taurus here that's dealing with a very manipul manipulative Scorpio, Gemini. Um, there are some water signs here, other water sign energies. But this person does not have your best interest at heart. They promise you the world. We're going to do this in their communication with you. Um, we're going to get better. We're going to move forward. We're going to progress. And then boom, they're back to ghosting. They're back to ending things. Um, you know, for those of you dealing with somebody, this situation, if they come back or if you go back to them, I'm picking up that it may only last eight days. Okay, for some of you shorter than that, it, it's a really short lived, exciting, um, you know, uh, uh, dalliance with this person. It doesn't last very long at all. They have very little staying ability. This person has zero staying ability. All right, um, I'm gonna grab some messages. All right, let's see if we can get some confirming messages for Taurus. Thank you. What do we have for Taurus? Um, strings, yep. This person comes with strings attached towards there's somebody here you have to break free from that breaking free is a message that if you don't, there's just going to be more you're playing with fire. All right. When it comes to this person, you're playing with fire. Someone doesn't have your best interests at heart right now. For those of you that are married or you're in a committed relationship, this is likely not your story. However, take a second look at your situation, right? Have they been saying things lately that turn out not to be true? Um, is there energy that they are spending more money and not being considerate of the, the unit, the team, the family? So there are some strings attached with the relationship here towards um, we have trust. OK, um, I forgot who got this, but I, I was mainly picking up trust your intuition. All right. You have trust issues with this person for a reason. And there's somebody here you're not trusting that actually is trustworthy. Right. So trust your instincts here. Tap into that. Um, because somebody here, we have security. This is, this is you guys. This is what you want. This is what you, you are hoping for. This is what you are building towards, but you have someone here who doesn't share that. Okay. I feel like they enjoy you. Some of them may even love you. We have strong feelings here, but I also feel like this person is chaos, death energy. All right. So that is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box.